Well, you know, you hear these stories, the Thanksgiving meal is prepared and suddenly one of the dogs jumps <laughs> up and it's all over. Right. But you say we don't have to put the dogs away. So this is a very, very easy behavior to teach, and it's just for that, meaning that they can, oh, thank you, Tex, he's gonna go ahead and do it. So <laughs> well trained. <laughs> <laughs> meaning that the dogs can be a part of the family without having to be banished, yeah. right? So as you know, I talk about all the time, our whole philosophy is, if you're doing something I don't want you to do, I'm gonna teach you something that I want you to do. Redirect okay. their That's attention. Right. So this is a boundary. This is called a place bed. So okay. actually what we're gonna teach is teaching them how to stay on a place. Hey, Tex. Place. Good boy. Good boy. You're so we're going to teach him. You're not using stay. You're using place. That's right. Now, Tex does know stay. Now, what we do typically teach, though, is that place means place until I tell you otherwise. So the stay is implied. Gotcha. But stay, uh, Tex does know stay. Wells, when we work with Wells, he is just going to use the word place. Now, the important thing is to tell them when the job starts, which is when we say place, and then when the job is over, which we say free. Free means your job is over. You don't have to work anymore. Okay. Now, this is just a boundary so that I can tell you I need you to stay here so that you're not jumping on my de guests mm -hmm. or you're not jumping when everybody's eating their dinner or anything like that. Good boy, buddy. Oh, so it's just a that. very easy boundary to teach. Is Meaning, food always, sorry to jump in, but no. is it, does it always involve food or a treat during this training process? So the training process, yes. So once they get fluent in behaviors, we start to wean off of food. Now, if we're going to have big giant distractions like a Thanksgiving dinner, I'd probably add treats again. But what I'm going to do is just treat into intermittently okay. right it's not just every when they're learning something new treats all the time okay. when they get good at it and they're more advanced you don't have to treat all the time uh-uh text Text, come on. So and I've got a brand new puppy. Yes. I mean, oh. we need all the help that we can get with this. Yes, training. I heard. I heard. Stay so good boy. And Haley's stay. puppy Wells over here next to Tex. Uh, how old Haley is Wells? He's five and a half months. Five and a half months. Okay. And that's a stage when Stephanie, a lot of pet owners may think, oh my goodness, this is a lot of work. Yeah. But you say okay. if you're consistent, these behaviors can be learned. That's right. He's a teenager and yeah. he is a real party animal. I mean, <laughs> he is ready to party all the time. Stay. So, um, so we're going to work with him because I wanted to use Tex as an example of a dog that already knows the behavior pretty well. Right. And that uh, for Wells, it's a dog that's just now learning it. Okay. Now the deal is this, is that when we start any behavior, we have to start at the preschool level. We all do, right? When we learn something, we start at preschool. We can take it all the way up to college depending on how hard we want to work. Now, um, in two days, probably we're not going to teach an advanced level. However, so in your house, by yourself, doing a place bed, good boy. Do you see how hard he's, he's trying so hard to stay on his plate? So I'm going to reward him because he's okay. thinking about it, but he's not doing it. So I'm going to say, yes, that's a good boy because he's not doing it even though he's thinking about it. Okay. So, I can take him all the way up to college, but, so you have to think about this. So in your house, when you're practicing and you're learning and there's nobody around, that's preschool. When you're at your Thanksgiving dinner and there's guests and all that, that's college. You can't skip grades, you gotta go all the way, right? So that's the, that's the big deal, is to make sure you don't skip grades and expect too much too soon, okay? A lot of people use the word N-O, but yes. that's kind of unbeneficial because they don't understand what you're saying. So That's right, so we always say that no is not enough. Okay. So I can can certainly mark a moment by saying no, meaning I don't like what you're doing. However, what should follow up immediately is, well, what is it that you do want me to so do? So instead of yelling at your dog for mm -hmm. what you don't want them to do, you want to encourage them, as you just said, to do what you want them to do. That's right, right. It's so much easier to teach a dog by telling what you want than what you don't want. It's just as easy to teach a good habit as it is a bad habit. Okay. Stay. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Now, when we start to add this, so when we're doing a duration on an elevated bed like this, an elevated bed can help it become um, much quicker because the boundary boundaries are so clear. Right. So the only thing that's against the rules here is if you put your foot on the floor. That's it. You can do whatever else you want. I don't care if you stand, sit, lay down, stand on your head for all I care. Just don't get off. Okay. okay. That's a boundary, okay. which makes it a little bit easier because he doesn't have to keep a very uh, relaxed down. So when somebody comes to the door, they may go, oh my God, so excited to see you. Oh my God, so excited. But just keeping your boundary. Right. right? Just and keeping your boundary. And those distractions, that's tough. You say there are three Ds we need to focus on when keeping a dog in their place. That's right. So in any stay situation, we have three Ds. We have distance, duration, and distraction. Okay. So those are the things we add as we start to build up preschool all the way up to college. So we've got some distraction going on here. This is big distraction for Tex because Wells is a big distraction. Yeah. That's big. Stay, Tex. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, Yay! Wow. Good boy. I'm treating him for success, right? Right. Okay. So right. I give him teeny tiny treats every time we have a success. When I ask him, I reminded him, right? So easily, if he thought about it, I could say, no, 
But no, 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 he didn't do anything wrong yet, right? He just right. thought about it. So thinking about it's not against the rules. So he thought about it. So what I did is I reminded him and I said, stay. And he went, oh, right, good. And, and then, then and then I re the rewarded treat. him for doing that. Okay. okay, okay. So we're adding the three Ds as we move along. So we could add distance, duration, and distraction. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put Tex over here on Wells' bed because he's gonna keep his stay and Haley's gonna work with him. Okay. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna start working with Wells because Wells doesn't know it, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna work with him and then Derek's gonna help a little bit. I'm gonna okay. walk Derek through how to teach a place bed okay. and okay. what we're gonna do, okay? All right, Tex, go boom. And we're gonna have to accelerate this training program because I know with TV time constraints, That's right. I'll do my best. Okay, so as Haley mentioned then, Wells is a puppy just four months old right. and still being introduced to this idea That's of right. staying in place. Kind of a no background information That's type right. of thing. Yeah. I will model for you very quickly, okay? okay. Just okay. so that I'm going to um, show you what to do. Good boy. He's offering me a sit. Okay. So I'm going to use the word place because that's what it is. Place means four feet on the bed. That's what it means. That's all it means. It's okay. four feet on the bed. Well, and when he gets on there, I'm going to mark it. Yes. Yes. Feedback has to be immediately. Good boy. F immediate feedback. Constant feedback. Did right? he already know Good boy. sit? Yes, he knows sit, okay, uh -huh. okay. but again, he doesn't have to sit, place. So now I'm gonna start adding a little bit of duration, I mean, distraction, and uh-uh. So when he gets off, foot touches the floor, I say uh-uh. Uh-uh means try again. Place. Good okay. boy, good boy. Now he's just okay. using the word place. I'm gonna start moving. Place, that's distraction. Good boy, place, yes, that's a good boy. I keep telling him when he's doing it right. Yes, good boy. Four feet on the bed. I mark it. Yes, when four feet get on the bed. What a good boy. So I set a goal for myself, a little circle. He succeeded. So I'm going to give him a tiny treat for it, okay? Now I'm going to say, free, free, good boy. All right, Great. your there turn. We go. So the 3D is <laughs> distraction, distance, duration. We're going to try this on our Houston Life Facebook page because I have a feeling it's going to take me longer than 30 <laughs> seconds to do what you just did. But also uh, online at HoustonLife.tv, we have a link where you can connect with Stephanie Bennett. Thank Haley, you. thank you yeah. so much. Good luck Thanks with Little Wells. And Tex, great job, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Fun. Coming up next, how you